Hello and welcome. This video will be different from the previous videos. Okay, first we will generate a plot like this in Python and second we can run the script in the SQL Server. We need to do some adaptations, okay? So the first part of this video is generating the plot and the second part, if you are interested in running the script in SQL Server, you can see the second part. So, what we need to do to accomplish the plot, the generate plot? Well, the first thing that we need to do is to import the required packages. In this case, will be matplot and pandas. Second, we need to load the data from the CSV file. Data will be in a CSV file. Third, we can calculate the rolling meaning and standard deviation. And finally, we can plot the results. In the code part, I will use Visual Studio Code. Okay, you can use any editor that you want, even Notepad. The code will be the same thing. Okay, so the first thing that we need, we need to import pandas because we will read a CSV file and also we will do the statistics. Import pandas as PD. Next, we will do a plot. So import matplotlib.py plot as PLT. So let's do the load data from CSV file. And I have here a file to load the data. Sales by day dot CSV. It has a day, it has a sales, and the day is a date. The sales is the number of sales on that date. Okay. So if we go here, we need to declare the path of this file. And we go here to the file, right click, copy path. We paste here as a string to this path variable, and after this, we can declare a data that is equals to pandas dot read underscore csv, and then we provide the path. And here we have an important step because rolling statistics needs the date to be the index row. We need to add here some transformation parameters. First thing to know here to notice here is this is a string. Okay, for pandas, this is a string, and we must say to pandas how to convert this string into a date. And this is the day, slash, this is the month, slash, and this is the year. So we go here and we declare a function to convert the string into a date. So date parse is equals to lambda x and we say pd dot date time dot string p time. We provide the x and we provide the format of the string. So the format of the string is we have a day, we have a slash, we have a month, we have another slash and we have a year upper case y okay now we can continue and we go here to read underscore csv and we will add three parameters okay three more parameters so the first parameter will answer one question what column to be parsed to date parse underscore date is equals to the column day next question what column to use as a row index and we go here index call is equals to the column day and the last question is what function will handle string to date and the function is date underscore parser is equals to the function that we just created here we copy and we go here and we paste. So the first parameter here says what column to be parsed to date. And the column is the column day, this column, okay? This should be parsed into dates. Next, what column should be used as a row index? And again, is the column day. And what function will do the to string? And the function is the function that we just created here that says how the string is formatted. Now we are ready to do the calculations since we have the data here. So we go here to the step number three and we just need to declare a rolling mean that is equals to data dot rolling uh, for 90 days for example dot mean and a rolling standard is equals to data dot rolling 90 days again and we say std okay i think these in older versions of pandas should be something like pd dot rolling 
mean and we provide the data first and second we provide the number of iterations the days so this is for older pandas let's do the last step doing the plot we need first to plot the original data then we need to plot the r mean and we need to plot the r standard plt.plot provide the data the original data we provide the color for the line it will be blue and we provide the label it will be original we can copy these and paste here and paste here again these will receive the r mean for the mean and it will be red for us to distinguish from the other it will be rolling mean as the label and for this guy it will be the r standard the color should be for example black and it will be rolling standard next part we need a title so plt dot title and we provide the title for example rolling mean and standard deviation something like this okay next and final step is showing these or saving these to show these we just need plt.show okay to save these we should say plt.save fig and we need a path for this guy so we go here we copy the path we go here again we paste here the path and we give a backslash and we give a name so we will call it my plot.png for now let me comment these and let's run this open the terminal and we call pi rolling mean and this opens and we have this plot okay this guy is just saying that we should have something like from pandas.plotting import uh, this is a warning for a future use we can just go here we can copy and we can go up on the script we go here to the imports and we paste we remove these rows right and if we run this again now we don't have any more any warning let's review what we just did first we needed to import pandas in matplotlib don't forget that if you don't have these packages installed you can run in the terminal pip install pandas for pandas and pip install matplotlib for matplotlib the next part is load the data from the csv file and we call this pandas function pd dot read underscore csv where we pass the path of the file the csv file and we have three more parameters parse underscore dates is the column that contains the values to be converted into dates okay so the day column the index underscore call is the column that will serve as a index in the rows okay is not the index in the columns is in the rows the date underscore parser is how we will convert the strings into a date time okay so this date parse is this function that calls pd dot date time dot string p time okay and we pass this format day slash month slash year and the next step is calculating the rolling statistics for the mean we say data dot rolling 90 dot mean for the standard data dot rolling 90 dot standard um this 90 is the number of iterations which means that in our csv we have for each row one day so it will mean 90 days if we add months it would be 90 months and so forth okay the next part and the last one is plotting the data is just this plt.plot we pass the data and we say that we want the line to be blue we want a label for that that is called original is the text that will appear and this is for the mean we pass the mean data the line for the mean is red and the label rolling mean and this is the end you can download the source code of this video the link is in the description give it a like subscribe if you are not subscribed and 
this was the first part okay the second part is about running this on sql server is not converting the code into sql is running the python code in sql server and for that we need to do some changes okay as always thanks for watching and see ya